We had lunch with a friend, actually a boy, and then he said that he was single, so here we are. The hotel here is insane. Look at the fresco. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Good morning, everyone. We have arrived in Pisa. We had two days off in uh, Luca, and I saw some friends there. I actually met a boy there and we hung out. It was really nice. I might hang out later when I'm in Florence, but Kalina has never seen the Leaning Tower of Pisa. You've seen one Leaning Tower, you've seen them all, trust me. But we're gonna zip by real quick, go to a Zara, and um, yeah, we're gonna drive up to Rio Maggio. So we'll see you up in Pisa at the tower. Is it cute? It's so cute. Yeah, it's really like that. You never wear like a bag. Yeah. Very cute, with the jacket. Yeah, So I didn't bring any of my like baggy jeans or anything. Yeah. Because I thought, I'm like, mm, the baggy jeans are not a trend in yeah. Europe, and they definitely are. So I think these are cute, and I can wear these with like a button down with no shirt, with a t shirt. I don't need this, but I do. You do. Yeah. Do you want to know what gay math is? Gay math is seeing a price that says 49 euro and saying, oh, that's 49 American dollars. Easy. Even though it's definitely like 58 or 60. But it's fine. And this is cute, this is so versatile. I can wear this with anything. There's a rainstorm. It's an investment. It's an investment piece, I think. They're cute. You need? I need. I need you to have them. I don't have a black trouser. I need you in all cute. black. It's cute. You want me in all black so bad. I do. But then I did I did have this piece that could go with these. Yes. Okay. PRB. There it is. There it is. Let's lean. So let's go get drunk. <laughs> let's go get a drink. All these look at the leaners. The leaners, the jumpers. She's leaning. She's leaning. She's she's pointing. She's waving. They love it. Get it, girl. We have made it to the Rio Maggiore. Check out the view. So, we went swimming, it was quite nice. There are just so many people here still. There's, the tourism is quite high because it's gonna be a very warm weekend. But it was beautiful, as you guys saw. But we're getting ready for dinner. Shirt, Banana Republic. Pants, Banana Republic. And shoes, I don't know, because I have some blisters from those uh, new Adidas that I've been wearing, which have been hell. But I'm breaking them in, and I'm almost on the mend. Look, look how crazy it is. It is literally October. The last time I was here was last year, last fall, end of October. I was here with my friend Christy, and then I met a guy that I was seeing at the time who lives in Florence. No one was here. So the thing is, tourism is very, very high here from June, July, and August, and September. And the rest of the year, it essentially shuts down because it's too cold. So really, they only have like two more weeks of tourism here, but it should be low. However, because I think COVID's over, you know, obviously it's still around, but people just want to travel. So they're traveling. We're gonna go get dinner, and I'll see you guys there. We're at dinner. This is what we're having so far. Prosciutto e milone and a caprese. And we got limoncello spritzes. How is it? Do you like it better than Aperol? I think I've had so many Aperol that I have to yeah. move on now. It's literally just a seltzer, limoncello, lemon and mint, and it's very fabulous. Prosciutto e milone. Prosciutto e milone. What'd you get, Bambina? The catch of the day! It looks fabulous. <laughs> I got the linguine con vongole, which is clams. <laughs> which is clams. <laughs> Shut up. We're gonna do a live taste testing. This is my favorite dish, but I only have it either in Italy or there's a really good place on the East Coast. <laughs> Ooh. A little sand was in there. So good. Got a little gelato. I got pistachio and hazelnut. And you got stracciatella, which is chocolate chip, and hazelnut. It's good. So when you're getting pistachio, which is pistachio, you want it to be more brown than like bright green. How's yours? Delish. That's how you know it's good. 
we're gonna go and walk down to the water and I'll show you guys the water. I'll show you guys in the morning as well. Mmm, it's good. Good morning guys, it's the next morning. So we left Rio Maggio, Rio Maggiore, and now we're in Porto Venere, which is next door. We didn't stay too long in Rio because it gets really, really crazy and it's a weekend. So we're here for breakfast. We just parked. The water is gorgeous. I think those are like mussel traps or lobster traps. Look how beautiful the water is. So Porto Venera is quite different from Rio Maggio and Cinque Terre because you can actually drive in much closer and there's much better parking, lots of less stairs, but it's right next to La Spezia, which is a big port. So cruise ships go in there, a lot of business goes in there, there's a military base there. Porto Venera is very similar to Portofino, so it's a little quaint, cute little beach town, fishing town, lots of sailboats, lots of yachts, lots of history. Who's walking a breakfast right now? in Kalina. If you look behind us, that's the first ferry of the day that's arrived into port. And that's what we're trying to beat right now because there's just way too many people and it's just not enjoyable. Anybody who comes here in the summer is crazy, but I've never seen it this busy in the fall, which is wild. It's still early though, and it's gonna be a really hot weekend, so that's probably why. Hello, it's a little bit later, so we stopped by our Airbnb from Luca on the way up back from the coast. We changed, we got ready, we had lunch with a friend, actually a boy, that boy that I met. We kind of became friends. It was cute, right? Very cute. Yeah, he's sweet. And we are heading to Florence, Firenze, for the night because I have an event at the Four Seasons that I'm going to. We're staying the night and we're just gonna explore around the city. So let's go to Florence. Also, let me give you a quick little fit check. On my face, I'm not, I don't have anything except I have B Goldie, I have D Bronzy, and then I do have the Jones Road, that balm that I use. I use like the same products all the time, you guys know. Nothing in the brows, and then I did a tinted moisturizer, a tinted sunscreen. On this side of my face, it's Elta MD, which I've been using for years. It's nice, but so this side is matter, and this side is a Greek sunscreen that I got in Athens that is a little more matte, has prickly pear in it, it's very soothing for the skin, it's really nice, it's 100% organic and natural. I'll link that down below, I'm sure you guys will love it, but both of them are great. This is my outfit. Pants are vintage, shirt is from H&M. No belt, I have my Apple watch, which is cringy. My jewelry, the one that I lost in the last vlog. My necklaces are from Desea, same necklaces that I wear. And the shoes are the Sambas, classic Sambas. See you in Florence. Just got to Florence. The hotel here is insane. Oh my gosh. So we walk in, the bathroom is here. And look how stunning. Look at the fresco. Oh my gosh. Huge bed. These ceilings are like 25 feet high. TV, armoire. There's no view, but that's okay. I think it's just an alley. Look at this. I mean... That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at the marble, stunning. And honestly, it was really not even that expensive. It was $300 for the night, which I think is, I mean, that's sometimes what you pay for like a, oh my God, there is a view. Look at the window. Look. Well, I'm sure it's just the alley here, but cute. Honestly, that's like what you pay at a Hilton, not even a Hilton, like a Best Western sometimes. So pretty, and it's in one of my favorite areas, Santo Spirito. Oh my God, I'm lost, I'm trapped. Do you live? Lord! Let's pull, I need some natural light in here. This, you look so tiny in here. <laughs> I love. Wow, we need to change the, the bulbs to a less yellow, yeah. but other than that, I mean, that's Manu on the ceiling. Gorgeous. Bambini. In the shower, gorgeous shower. Sink bidet, which I've missed terribly. I don't have one in my new house. Toilet. And the view weren't so bad either. Epitome of luxury for me is a towel warmer. I want one of these one day in my house. The shower looks lovely as well. Huge. Nice and tall for me. Okay. This is that brand, the other brand of sunscreen, La Ota. It's gorgeous. 
I really, really like it. I like the size of it too. It just fits anywhere and it's super slim. So we're going to go out and about. I'm going to take Kalina. She's only here for another night at this point. Taking a half a pump of the House Labs and a little bit of the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Drops just to make sure my complexion is snatched, which it is, but just a little bit. I have a little redness around my nose. Might take some pictures. So I have the event at the Four Seasons in a couple hours. We're gonna go sightseeing. I'm gonna show Kalina the sights here, places that I love, and then we're getting dinner with this guy that I've actually never really told you guys about. We dated two years ago. He's the first person that I really connected with post breakup. And that was like a year after the, after my breakup in the first place. It was when I was in Italy for a couple months and it was really nice to connect with somebody. And it was like the first time I had been physical with somebody. And it's just like a, a good memory for me. We were both kind of on the same page with where we were in life and what we wanted. We both definitely caught feelings for each other rather quickly. The connection was really, really great. He lives here in Florence, but obviously I was heading back to America. So it was not gonna work out. And then he ended up getting in a relationship, I believe this past January, or maybe this time last year. So I kind of just like let things be. I didn't like check in or anything. And then randomly, I kind of saw that some t pictures were taken off of his Instagram of his relationship. So I was like, oh, maybe, maybe he's just being more private. Anyway, so I, against my better judgment, I reached out, I texted him, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna be in Florence on Monday. Do you want to get together? I know you have a boyfriend. I was just kind of covering my bases here just in case if he did. And then he said that he was single and they'd broken up a month ago. So here we are, I feel comfortable. Otherwise I, I wouldn't have like wanted to intrude, intrude, is that the right word? In somebody's relationship, you know, we hadn't spoken in so long. So we're gonna go do that later. It'd be really good to see him. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the veil powder from Hourglass and we're gonna be good. Simple, clean, easy. Also, I forgot to show you guys, I got this in Greece from Carez, the skincare brand. I didn't even know they had this. I got this and this fragrance and I'm obsessed with both. So this one is a all over olive oil, 100% Greek olive oil for all over face, body, hair. And it has made such a difference. I genuinely feel like I'm glowing. Like I haven't, this is the first time I've worn makeup, honestly, since the drunk elephant trip, like two weeks ago. And this fragrance is really nice. It has top notes of cedar, bergamot, heart notes of freesia, burnt sugar, frangipani, which is a flower, and then base notes of vanilla and musk. And it's beautiful. It's like a mixture of vanilla and cedar, and it just smells really, really nice. I didn't even know they had fragrances. It was 39 euros, which to me is $39, but really it's probably like 40. Five USD. Also, a few of my male following asked me what I do with my hair. I honestly don't do much. I use this product, Day, D-A-E. It's a cactus fruit three-in-one styling cream. It's good for smoothing prep blowouts and defining curls, which I do have natural curls. And I feel like it just like, keeps everything like moisturized and hydrated. So I hit it with that real quick. And then I just go in with a little bit of hairspray. I like this one. I got this in Vegas. I think I was at the Cosmopolitan. There was a really nice barber shop slash club. What is the brand? 1821 or I don't know. You guys see it if you want it. It smells like a cologne, but it the hold is really nice because I hate the smell of like regular hairspray. I just do that. Make sure I have no flyaways and that's it. And then this curl kind of always pops down Naturally. Hello, I'm gorgeous. How are you this evening? <laughs> um, look at the multi-use of the scarf. It's now becoming an actual scarf on my outfit. All black. You guys know I never wear all black. Black Doc Martens with two pairs of socks because I know I'm gonna get blisters. And in my tote bag, what are we hiding in here tonight? My hokas, just in case. We have to walk 30 minutes to the Four Seasons, so let's go. But before that, Kalina, show me. Show me the ensemble. Gorgeous, Vibra vibratio, spin. Who put this together for you? <laughs> Me. <laughs> so I just got back from a work dinner and now I'm at the Duomo. It's so pretty at night. Coming here during the daytime is insane, but take a look at my view right now. Isn't this gorgeous? So if you guys remember from vlogs from like last spring, I hiked, not hiked, I walked up all these stairs, these are the bells of Campanelli. There's little restaurants here, people having drinks. And this is the church. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at this. Magical. 
It's really loud right now, even though it's a weekday, because a few of the schools in Florence have graduated and they're all having like graduation celebratory parties. But it's so magical here. I love it so much. Look at this. Like, look at this. Look at the detail. It's so crazy. We are finally headed to Tuscany. Are you excited? I'm so excited. So I have been coming here for a few years now. First time I came here to this little town was with my aunt who passed away a few years ago. I went here when I was with her visiting, I was visiting her with my mom and my cousins were also here, her daughters, and it just like always had a hold on me. I love this little town, it's so sweet. And it's where I started writing the book last fall, so I feel like coming back here is the right move to finish the book and to get some inspo and to show you around Tuscany. All the sunflowers are dead. Dead, we miss them. We miss them. But it's still stunning. It's so beautiful. The views are insane. I'll show you. The beds at the house are so uncomfortable. There'll be a full house tour coming in a couple days, so definitely watch out for that. But I just drove 45 minutes to an Ikea because I cannot sleep on that bed. I know myself. I don't need something that's too soft, but I need something that's softer than that. It's true. I think the mattress is probably 50 years old at least, which you know what? The Italians do not put the comfort of their homes first. From what I know about the culture from my own family, I just know that food and clothing and things that directly affect you come first. But for me, I grew up like bed and sleep is very important and that directly affects you. So we're gonna need to get a mattress pad or something, definitely a comforter, definitely some pillows, because I need to make this bed cozy and warm. So let's go to Ikea. I just got here. I don't know if it's the same as in the US, but I'm sure it's I'm sure it's pretty similar. Hopefully their prices are good because I saw a lot of the bedding in Italy is very, very expensive. Maybe they don't have access to certain things that you know that are just super popular in America, but um, something that you would find at TJ Maxx for like $14.99 was like $60 for like cheap polyester, whatever. I just like, I'm such a betting snob, you guys know. So we're, we gotta find some good, fingers crossed. Here we are. Okay, so so far everything here is pretty similar. So far I got a water bottle, got a spatula for cooking because everything is wooden and I need a silicone one. And I got a water bottle for all like my morning drinks. And now I found the jackpot with the bedding. So let's go find some bedding. So for blankets, you can tell, I mean, they have a few good options here, but they have so many thin ones. So it's four stages, very warm, warm, medium, cool. So these are the thin ones for probably summer. This is paper, like this, I feel like this does not exist in America. This is paper thin. Look how tiny that is. That's crazy. And then they're all very expensive. So like for like a basic one, it's this is the equivalent to like 60 USD. And then for like a normal one, like 200 bucks, which I think is really expensive. Or like two, 230 that levels out to. And then you have ones over here, Molto Caldi, which is much warmer. Which these are options. There's one for 99, I could do that. This one looks really nice too. I just don't want to spend like 190 on a blanket, you know? 100 I can do. 100 I can do. Okay, this is the blanket I got. It's a very warm one. I think this is the right size too. And then for pillows, I saw these. They're 15 euros each. They're memory foam. They look really nice. So I'm gonna get two of these as well. The bedding here is so insane. There's so many different sizes of mattresses. Like, if it, why isn't there just twin, queen, full? It's like, 
all in centimeters. There's so many different ones and everything is sold separately. So you have like the flat sheet and then you have the fitted sheet and then the pillowcase are also sold separately. And then over here, there's a whole different size of bed. But then down here, there's even a bigger bed. It's great. It's wild. It's what there's just too many options because a lot of a lot of the beds here are single beds. This is the one I'm getting, I think. So I think this for the comforter, and I think this for the sheets, which is I never do yellow, but I'm just like I feel like it kind of works. It's kidding. That yellow is hideous. We went with this green. I'm hoping everything just fits, but I think that matches really nicely, and that's more me. Jackpot. <sighs> Guys, candles, oh my god, I've never seen pumpkin here before. It's just not like a very common thing. So I'm gonna get a pumpkin, I'm gonna get a vanilla, I'm gonna get this little mixed medley. Unfortunately, they don't have the really big tea lights that I like. This house kind of smells musty, so we need something. Just kidding, I found them. These are the glimmas and they last so long, they're everything. I just like a little candle. You know, around the house. We need to get a mattress topper. Stat. $400 later, we're getting a hot dog. This is so cool. So you can try everything. You just order it here. Okay, what do you want? Grandi or fit? I think that's fine. Small chip. What else do they got here? We got pizza. What are these? This is interesting. Add that. Absolutely. We got, we got fried fish, I think shrimp. The meatballs look different here. Chicken hot dog, which I've never had before. And then look at the fries. They're flat like chips. And then the lingonberry drink. So good. Oh my god, the fries are so good. Meatball, let's see how it compares to the recipe. Honestly, these ones might be vegan. They taste very healthy. Mmm. I think this one's a scallop. Oh, it's fish. A little fish bite. And then this, I have no idea what it is, so we'll open it together. Oh, it's like a little... Oh. a little pizza calzone, I think. Mm. That's good. It's our first night in the house, but technically it's Kalina's last night with me before I'm alone for over a month. Kalina? I had to make my wife a beautiful dinner. Oh, stunning. I made some peachy pasta. That's the type of pasta. It's like this thick, fresh pasta. And a little arugula salad with some tomatoes, some fresh bread, butter. It's gorge. And I mean, the company. Hello. Oh. So we're going to do a live taste testing for you guys because we, we, we just got to figure out what's going on here. He treats me so well. Mmm. Vegetable pasta. Mm-hmm. Delish. It's good. I put in a little pesto in the tomato sauce. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but. Why? Oh well. I love pesto. Just a little pesto for mommy. And we didn't have any. We had salt, but I didn't have any seasonings. You look like Gollum. <laughs> Gollumizer. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a rough day. I have pasta all She's over my face. She's having cramps. Oh my god. You look like an Italian gorgeous Woman. man. <laughs> I've been soft living. <laughs> that trend of people like soft living and just doing like organic stuff on Instagram is so stupid. That's but kind it's of us. it's us, but it's also like that's how I grew up. It's essentially like people cosplaying as poor, <coughs> which I'm like, it's crazy that people actually live like that, and now people are acting like that's organic and cool, but they're doing it with like a ten thousand dollar. La Corneau oven range, which is crazy to me. Like baking bread, like that's expensive. It's more expensive to bake bread than it is, well, sometimes. It's true. Hold Arugula it salad with tomato. Let's see, these tomatoes are wild. Fresh. Looking. Fresh. So delicious. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Like so good. Very good. And my body is coming alive with this green right now. You're the most LA girl I've ever known. 
I need my need to get an air one immediately. <laughs> an air one in Tuscany. Mm-hmm. I'm open. We're gonna enjoy dinner. I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs>